Hey guys, welcome back to Nightfall Adventures. I'm out here tonight with my buddy Chris Robinson, and uh, I got my pup Cash Slim, and Chris has his pup Gucci. We're gonna turn them back this lane. It's a good warm night, it's real wet. It rained all last night, and this morning it's December 1st, and it's like 54 degrees, so we're hoping it'll be a good night. So we'll see what happens. Some trouble. You ready, Chris? Yeah. Oh, Cash wasn't ready. He's got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. There he goes. Well, Chris's dog Gucci, he just <clears throat> started running a track pretty good in there. How far is he, Chris? About 550? He's close to six right now. Close to 600 yards. He's been running it now for about two minutes. Cash, he's opened up a little bit in there too on track. So hopefully they can get it worked out here in a minute. There's Cash right there. Isn't he? Yeah. They might be coming treat here real shortly. Hopefully we'll be able to show you some meat here in a minute. Stick with us. Well, Gucci and Cash, they just come treed. They're 557 yards. So we're gonna get in there to them and see what they got. All right, guys, we just got to this tree. They got the coon. They did a fine job on that. Let's see if I can show it to you. We're in kind of a thicket here, but I think we can get a good shot of him here. See it there? All right, let me switch this camera around. Good boys. Talk to him, buddy. Good boys. 
Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Dead. All righty. It's a good start to the night right there. We're going to hook them up, recast them again, see if we can get number two going. Good one there, wasn't it, Chris? Huh? Good one there, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. They got him spread, ain't they? Good boys. All right. We're getting ready to throw them into this woods here. We walked them about 300 yards from that past last tree. And uh, I'm gonna throw them into this woods over here. Ready, Chris? Yes, sir. Okay. Gucci just come treat again. Um, that was a little bit more of a little bit rougher track. He didn't open as much on that one, but he finally got it worked out. That must have been a little bit of a tougher track or colder or something, but he finally come treed and we're going to head in there and see what he's got. Well, I double punched the record button and I missed shooting the coon out, but here it is. That was the uh, first time here in a long time that I've actually found a coon in a squirrel's nest. He was up this uh, big ash tree. We didn't know if he was up here or not. And I started squalling and he come and peeked his head over the side of that squirrel's nest right there. And uh, we ended up making a shot on him and rolling him out. So. That's number two for the night. So we're going to hook them up and get them out of here and see if we can go get number three. Good night so far. Good boy, Gucci. Good boy, Gucci. Good boy. Good boy. All right, we just got back up here to this levee. I'll talk a little bit on that tree because I don't know how good you guys could actually hear me down there with the dogs barking right in our ears but that wind yeah but uh gucci got treed on that big ash tree down there and uh it didn't have no leaves or nothing in it you know most of the ash trees are dead anyway from that ash borer it's pretty much wiped them out but so usually if it if it's not a den and you don't find it it's slick so we, did, we wasn't finding a hole or anything. Kind of started wondering. And I noticed when we first got to the tree, there was a big squirrel nest and some vines. And we looked for a few minutes. And then I finally put my colored light on and uh, hit the JC call squalor that I got. And uh, just within a second or two, at that coon, he... Uh, peeked his head over the side there and I seen him and we finally got a good angle above him there it was kind of a embankment and we got up on the top side of that hill and was able to get a shot and uh, got him out of there but I don't remember the last time that I actually found a coon in a squirrel's nest uh, you hear guys talk about it but it definitely doesn't happen a lot for me so that was pretty cool that was a pretty rough track, wasn't it, Chris? Yeah. The way he was running it, he was he earned that one. So I was happy to find that one for him. He looked good on it. So that's number two for the night. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know if we're going to drop one more time in this woods or if we're going to go back to the truck and go to another spot. I don't know yet, but I'll get back with you here shortly. Well, me and Chris just got back to the truck. It's raining, starting to rain pretty good. A lot of lightning and thunder rolling in, so we're probably gonna call it a night. Um, it's only 
not even 8.30, and we dropped maybe 30 minutes after dark, give or take. But it was a short hunt. We intended on hunting pretty much till we got tired, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And, uh, but, you know. Lightning. And yeah, that lightning, I don't, I don't usually take too many chances in lightning. At, not something you get at very many uh, second chances with. <laughs> so <clears throat> we're going to call it quits for the night, maybe try to get back out here one night this week after work and uh, get after it again before it um, cools back off. It's uh, My truck says it's 62 degrees right now, and um, I don't think we're going to have too many more days like this this year, so we're trying to take advantage of them while we got them. But uh, it's kind of a short video. I apologize for that and also for not posting a video here recently. I have been hunting, but I haven't been doing a lot of filming. That's my bad. Um, but I'm going to try to get back on track and start being more consistent with my film filming. Try to get at least one video a week. I hunt more than one night a week, but, you know, I, I don't know if I'll post videos you know every time i go but um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i appreciate you uh supporting me and subscribing to my channel so we'll see you guys next time take care bye